I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on binomial theorem application. The question here is, in the expression x square minus 1 to the power of 5 times 1 plus x to the power of 8, determine the term containing x to the power of 4. Now here we have product of two terms. To find a general term, we have to find general term for each multiply them and then find general term having x to the power of 4. So in an expression we could have many terms which could be combined as we will see in this particular video. So first step is to find general term for each one of them. So let's find general term for uh, the expression which is uh, x square minus 1 to the power of 5 right so let this be the first step so general term for this particular expression will be 5 cr x square to the power of 5 minus r right times minus 1 to the power of r now in this case, r has to be in between the values 0 to 5. Now, let us now find general term for the second one, which is the binomial 1 plus x to the power of 8. So general term for this will be 8cr. 1 to the power of 8 minus. Now, it's better to take some other coefficient, right? So, instead of r, I am going to take s. So, I'll make 8 minus s. This could be any variable, correct? To avoid confusion, we should take some other variable. So, 8 minus x, s, x to the power of s. Now, where s will be between 0 and 8? right now how about the general term for the product so let's write down the general term for the product which is in our case x square minus 1 to the power of 5 times 1 plus x to the power of 8 so that is going to be the product of the above terms right so let me rewrite that as 5cr x square 5 minus r times minus 1 to the power of r times the other term which is 8cs 1 to the power of 8 minus s x to the power of s. Now 1 to the power of 8 minus s is going to be 1 so we can kind of neglect it. So what we really get here is uh, 5 CR times 8 CS X to the power of 2 times we can multiply this right so we get 10 minus 2 R minus 1 to the power of R and here we have X to the power of S now combining these terms we get 5 CR times 8cs minus 1 to the power of r x to the power of these two right so it is 10 minus 2r plus s now what we really need is a term containing x to the power of 4 this is what we need so so what we can equate here is uh, for terms with x to the power of 4 the condition is that the numerator, I mean the exponent, which we see here, should be equal to 4, right? So that gives you that 10 minus 2r plus s should be equal to 4, right? Solving this, uh, bringing 4 here, we get 10 minus 4 equals to 2r minus s, or we can write 6 is equals to 2r minus s. 
So we have now an equation which relates R and S. Remember the value of R and S could be as shown here. Now to get 6, so let me rewrite the equation here and find possible values. So we, what we are looking for now is solution for the equation 2R minus S equals to 6. We know that R is within the interval 0 to 5 and S is within the interval 0 to 8. So we are looking for all possible solutions, a combination of R and S. That's the whole idea, right? Now, since we have to take away the value of S, R could be 3. So if R equals to 3, then we get 6 minus 0 we could use. So and S equals to 0 gives us one solution. Uh, well, R could be 4. If R is 4, it is 8. 8 minus 2 is a solution. So and S equals to 2 will be a solution. How about R equals to 5? If I put that's the maximum value which R can have, 5 times 2 is 10, 10 minus 4, so and S equals to 4 will also give us the solution, right? So these are the possible solutions, right? So, so that gives you all possible combinations. for x to the power of 4, right? So what we need to do is to collect all these terms, combine and get our answer, correct? So let's move on and calculate. So the general term which we got was kind of like this. Let me rewrite. Uh, for this expression with x to the power of 4, which we just calculated is uh, 5cr 8cs minus 1 uh, minus 1 to the power of r times x to the power of so we are talking for a general term with x to the power of 4 right so for this particular condition where x is to the power of 4 we got combinations of r and s as r equals to 3 and s equals to 0 we also got r equals to 4 and s equals to 2 and we got r equals to 5 and s equals to 4 right so these were the uh, three possible solutions which we got now for each one of these let us calculate the terms right so for each one of these let's calculate the terms so for the first one where r is 3 we get 5c3 8c0 minus 1 to the power of 3 x to the power of 4 correct for the second one we get 5c4 8c2 minus 1 to the power of 4 times x to the power of 4 and for the last one we get 5c5 8c4 minus 1 to the power of 5x to the power of 4. Okay? So these are the three terms which will have x to the power of 4 in it. So the first term here is negative. Power 4 will make this positive and the third term will be negative. Right? Now let's calculate these values. 5c3, 8c0. So we can use the calculator to calculate. Well, some of you can directly find the answer using the formula, you know. So we'll calculate 5C3, 5C3 times 8C0 equals to 10. So we get this as 10x to the power of 4. Then we have 5C4, 5C4 times 8c2 8c2 which is 140 x to the power of 4 and the last term here is 5c5 times 8c4 
which is equal to 70. Uh, I forgot to write 0 here, x to the power of 4. So these are the three terms which we get. Now combining these three, we get our answer, right? So the term with x to the power of 4, so the coefficient of the term we can say, so the expression with x to the power of 4 is, you have to add all of them, right? So it's minus 10 plus 140 minus 70 times x to the power of 4, correct? Which gives you, you take away 80 from 140, which is equals to 60 x to the power of 4, right? So that becomes the solution for us. Now, I hope you understand and appreciate how we need to do such questions. So the idea here is to find the general term, which is product of these two, then equate the exponent to 4, what you really need, right? Find the possible combinations of R and S as we did here. Add all the terms with x to the power of 4 to get the answer. So I hope these steps are absolutely clear. That is how we should do it. I'll take up another example to show you all these process once again. Thanks for watching and all the best.